Next, uh, the CCF. Uh, Mr. Freeman, uh, good afternoon. My name is Ajit Chodhra. I'm with the CCF. I have some questions for you about tow trucks. Okay. And the legal tools uh, to compel the provision of tow truck services. Uh, so I, I first asked the registrar to put up the emergency measures regulations under the Emergencies Act, and I have a document code for that, although I imagine it would be on speed dial um, here. So it's, but it's SSM dot can dot four zeros one nine one one underscore rel dot three zeros one so while we're waiting for it to come up you, you, I, I take it you're familiar with the emergency measures regulations i'm familiar but by no means an extra sure. you referred to them in an answer to a question posed by my friend from the commission, though. Yeah. So, could we go to page eight, please? So, if we could just scroll down, please, to, uh, registrar, Mr. Registrar, to seven one. That's good. Uh, so, would you agree? If you could just have a look at section seven sub one. Have you seen that section before? Yes. Okay. So, would you agree that section seven sub one in substance says? that a person must make available and provide tow truck services if requested by the Minister of Public Safety and Emergency Preparedness or the RCMP Commissioner or a designate. Correct? Yes. Good. Okay. So could we go down then to the next page, please? To 10 sub 2. And so could you just have a look at that, please? Have you seen this provision before? Yes. Okay. So, uh, would you agree that in substance, uh, sub, um, section 10 sub 2 provides uh, that creates a criminal offense uh, for a failure to comply with the emergency measures regulations, including the provision we just looked at together, section 7 sub 1, in relation to tow trucks? That's what it appears to do. Yeah. Good. And there's uh, sanctions involving uh, both fines and imprisonment um, under both summary and indictment. Yes. Good. All right. Now, I'd like to take you to the um, HTA, if I could. And so this document, Mr. Registrar, is CCF uh, five zeros, I believe. Yes. Wait. Six zeros. Ten. And, and while we're waiting for it to come up, Mr. Freeman, you stated in your evidence this morning, or earlier today, I should say, that the, the HTA is a key act. Is that right, for the MTO? Yep. And so you're familiar with it? Not all parts, but I'm familiar with it. Well, yep. uh, we're going to take you to section 171. So this is on page 361, please. If we could scroll down just a bit. Okay, so if we could stop there. So this section is entitled Tow Truck Services. Uh, are you familiar with this section? Not in great detail, but um, I can understand it. Okay, so I'd like to ask you a question um, that's about section sub 3.1, which is on the next page. So let's stop there. So this says... Uh, so the, the, the title for this subsection is Other Prohibited Activities, and it says no driver of a tow truck or other person who is in charge of a tow truck shall engage in an activity prohibited by regulation. Is that right? That's what it says, yes. Good. Okay, now let's go down a bit further to six, subsection 6. S stop there, please. Uh, and so subsection 6 says that the uh, lieutenant governor in, in council or the provincial cabinet has the power under subsection B uh, to prescribe prohibited activities for the purposes of subsection 3.1. Is that right? Yes. A and that seems to be a quite a broad grant of authority to the provincial cabinet, correct? You're getting a little out of my depth in terms of legal interpretation here, whether it's broad or not. But it says that it doesn't say what sorts of activities can be prescribed. It just says prescribed activities. 
prescribing prohibitive activities. Yes. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So for the purposes of what's above, but um, you know, I, I I just want to refrain from trying to interpret this too much here. It's it's beyond my expertise. Okay. And then and and then let's go up a little. Uh, I promise you, this is the last subsection we'll look at together. So if you could scroll up, please, Mr. Registrar, to subsection four. And so. Uh, this provision is entitled offense. It creates a provincial offense for breaching any provision in this section, which it would include, of course, any regulation enacted pursuant to subsection 3.1, correct? Yes. So, so, uh, so, Mr. Freeman, I'd like to ask you this. Would you agree that under section 171, at any time, the Ontario cabinet could have made it a regulation that a tow truck driver cannot deny a tow truck services if requested by a suitable public official. So a municipal chief of police, the OPP commissioner, or the head of the RCMP. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. It's, uh, you're, there's, there could be other provisions here that Suggest otherwise. I don't. I don't know this uh, well enough. To so, so, uh, so, Mr. Freeman, I'm, I'm going to press you on this a bit. I, I, I put it to you that this is the only section in the HTA governing tow trucks, and that the that under this section, the provincial cabinet can prescribe conduct by tow truck drivers, and that it's an offense if a tow truck driver breaches that requirement. I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not a lawyer and anytime we would say what we can or can't do, we would, it's something we would engage our, our counsel on. So I, I, I don't want to tie myself to an answer that I, I could be wrong for the commission. Sure. So, so, so Mr. Freeman, I'll conclude on this note then. If in fact the provincial cabinet could have passed a regulation requiring that a tow truck driver provide a service and making it an offense to not do so, would that not in substance have been the same as the corresponding provision in the emergency measures regulation? I think based on what you said, possibly, yes. Good, thank you. Okay, next to uh, the convoy organizers. <clears throat> 